Hi, I'm Frank Bullock with ITU, Industrial Training University. Today we're going to be talking about the warning label. On the warning label you'll note that the lettering is in black, the background is white, and at the top the banner is orange. The orange is there as a warning. Uh, you see some of these, it, it can be red as well as danger. Second portion of this uh, arc flash label tells us it's arc flash and shock hazard. Tells us the appropriate PPE required. That's an alert and a warning to folks that are going to be out there working on or near energized exposed components. As we travel on down the left side, we see the flash protection. In the flash hazard category, sometimes referred to as the uh, HC, FAC, uh, this is in, in this instance is a category four. And what that's referring to is, if you're going to be working uh, on this equipment that this is labeled for, you must use a category four uh, arc flash suit, uh, 40 cal suit you might hear. The 40 cal comes from this next line where it talks about the minimum, minimum arc rating in calories per centimeter squared. In this instance is 37.9. A better way to understand that is, is if I had 37.9 candles in a square centimeter here in the palm of my hand for, sec for a second, that's the amount of energy that is we're dealing with. So, the 40 cal suit is called for. We could have John come into the picture at this time and we'll talk a little bit about the 40 cal suit. Notice there's no guesswork involved. You can see right here it says 40 calories per centimeter squared. It has the hood, the face shield, and with this one you can purchase the uh, air conditioning system. Actually not air conditioning but it does circulate air inside the hood in an effort to keep you cool. Then you have the jacket, uh, which has a zipper and Velcro over for complete uh, closure. Underneath this are the bibs, and the bibs come up to the chest, giving uh, even greater protection to the chest area. Notice on John's hands, he has voltage rated rubber gloves and the leather protectors because we know it only takes a pinhole in a rubber glove to ruin your day. Note John has the voltage rated leather shoes as well uh, on his feet. That completes his uh, 40 cal suit. He is ready to go out and work on voltage reading, troubleshooting, or if the case uh, is warranted to work on voltage, uh, voltage that is exposed and energized. Thanks John. This is the glove bag that his gloves would come in and this is the glove bag that you would return your gloves to uh, at the end of the day. Always remember to store them cuffed down so that there's no moisture build up in those gloves. Now we'll talk just a little bit about, and sometimes you'll see over here on this side, it talks about the gloves. In this instance, you got a category double zero glove. <clears throat> you might also see over here voltage rated tools. These are a couple of the voltage rated tools. I want you to get a close up of these, so I'm going to bring them up close to you. Notice the end of this, right around the end, you'll see a yellow area the bright orange, the bright yellow. Same way with these pliers. Can you see that? Also note the hilts here to keep your hands from sliding up too far. What the yellow is for, that's a warning. If over time and use you wear these down or you put them in your pouch and then they wear through and the yellow shines through then it's time to discard these and get a new a tool. 
Another thing that can disqualify these tools is if I happen to drop one and I have a nick in the side of that insulation and then the yellow shines through. That's telling me that my insulating layer is not what it should be. And that value of insulation is gone. So I need to get new. This is a picture of a non-voltage rated tool that does have rubber handles on them. Many times people will say, well, I can use these for voltage rated work. It's not true. These are, these are the ones that are voltage rated. This rubber on the handles here is just for uh, being able to grip. Always remember that if you don't have voltage rated tools, if you don't have your, uh, your uh, arc flash uh, clothing, that you can come to our website. We have available there OEL. Uh, tools or and voltage rated tools and also our uh, voltage rated clothing so if you need that equipment we can fix you up